Okay, a baseball is hit So a baseball is hit at a velocity of 130 feet per second at 35 degrees above horizontal from a height of 4 feet. There is a fence 380 feet away and 30 feet high. That kind of sounds like the green monster at the Boston, right? OK, and based on that now, we can ask several questions here. A. These are shorthand ways of asking things here. What is H max? That means what's the highest height that the ball is going to go to? What is T max? What is the time that it's going to take to get to that height? X at H max. What is the horizontal distance that it will have traveled by the time that it is at that height? And then alpha at H max is the angle of the ball the angle that the ball makes with respect to its initial uh, trajectory, you see? Now, we already know that the theta is 0 at h max, so we don't even need to ask that, right? It's going at a horizontal uh, velocity. And then b, we can say, uh, will the ball hit the fence? Now, as it's coming down, there's a chance that it's going to either hit the fence or fall short of the fence or go above the fence. So we want to know what's going to happen here. Will the ball hit fence fall short or be a home run? For now, let's ask this much, and then I'll add more questions to it later, too. So the first thing in a typical uh, projectile motion problem is you got to take the velocity that they gave you, if they gave you one, then you got to break that down into its components, right? So let's come over here. We get uh, V initial x is equal to 130 cosine of uh, 35. V final, uh, V initial y is equal to 130 sine of 35 and that's in feet per second right so then we want to find the h max the final height that it goes to now what we can use is that we can use the fact that the final y component of the velocity when it's at its top is zero right so i'm going to use the third equation here uh, we have b final y squared equals the initial y squared minus, now which units should I use? Are we in the British units or metric? British, right? Feet per second. So let's stay within British, so we got to use the 64. Okay? 
64 equals y final minus y initial. So we'll keep it at that right there. Now, from this, without even having to find the time, without even having to find the time, I can actually find what is the h max. I can set this equal to 0 at the top. The initial y is equal to this. Quantity squared. Minus 64. And then y final. Minus. And then the initial y is equal to 4 feet. The ball was hit from a height of 4 feet. Okay, after that, just put it in your calculator. Just put all that in into your calculator, and then you'll get your uh, 130. Uh, we're going to have y final is going to equal 100. And that's going to be h max. Oh, yeah? 90? So it's going to be 90 feet from the ground, 90 feet up. OK, good. So that's, that's h max. t max is the time to get there. We can use the first equation, uh, which is v final y is equal to v initial y minus uh, we use 32, since we're in the British system, 32t. Set this equal to 0. The initial y is 130 sine of 35. And then that's going to be t max. Or it's probably better to say t at h max. t at h max. What? Two point. OK, so two seconds till reach its highest. This is two seconds to reach its highest height. Everyone fine so far? And then the next one is x at h max. So we could use uh, x is equal to, now we're going to use v initial x, t. So you just take the velocity in the x component. Multiply it by Two point. Oh, that's pretty far. <laughs> 